Hello everyone, welcome to Helpful Solution Tutorials and welcome to our new tutorial about Snagit, an intuitive and powerful screen capture and recording tool. So Snagit is the tool for anyone who needs to capture and communicate ideas, instructions or feedback through images and videos. So renowned for its user-friendly interface, Snagit allows you to effortlessly take a screenshot, record screen activity and even create simple animations. In this guide, we'll take you through the basic of getting started with Snagit from installing the software to capturing your first screenshot. You'll learn how to edit your captures with annotations, shapes, and text to make your points clearer. So whether you're creating a tutorial, reporting a bug, or simply want to share something interesting on your screen, Snagit provides all the necessary tools to do so effectively and efficiently. So let's begin exploring the capabilities of Snagit and how it can enhance your communication and productivity. So uh, here, after downloading the application, as you can see, you'll have to sign in and then they will ask you some question. So you'll have to add uh, any answer. So for example, let's say you're creating tutorials and you're evaluating it yourself. And then you select the capture window and the widget. Let's select the default one and click on save. After that, they will ask you to uh, do a tour or you can explore it yourself. So let's go and explore it ourselves. As you can see here, this is a preview in the editor. So you can print a screen, you can click to capture, you can copy to click a board, you can have a, custom, a capture cancer, a cursor, sorry, and a five second delay. Now here you have the presets. Here you can save a capture setting as a new preset and you can open the editor. Here you have the capture for image and for videos. Now if we, and here, sorry, we have the files, so we can import preset, we can export all presets, and you can buy other presets or soft keys. Now let's click on open editor. So this is our editor. Here, as you can see, you have the file. So as I said, you can add a new file, you can create an image from templates, create a video from images, and you can open a recent project. Now here you have the library. So when you click on the library, you'll be taken here. You can search for files, your files that you upload, or you can search for stock videos and stock images. You just write it here. For example, let's write anything. You'll be showing right here. Now going back right here, uh, we have the capture. So we can click to start screen recording our windows and or do a capture for the photo. You can create, so you can uh, create image from template and videos from image. And here you have your favorite, so you're saving. So if you like uh, a project or a video or a stock video, you can uh, add it to your favorite projects. Now here we have some arrows, some text, the callout, the shapes, stamps, field, etc. It is shown right here. So we have the theme and the style of the text. You have the tool uh, properties and you can change the colors. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we click on library. So uh, let's click on images. So here you'll be able to see the images and videos of yours. So you can export images from here. You click right here and you can add the file. You go right here and you look for an image and just like that, you add an image. Let's add this one, for example. You click and open, click on next. And here you choose another effect if you want to add an effect. So the color mode, etc. Or you just click on next and it will be added right here. Finish and the image, it is added here. Now, what we want to do is if you want to start creating a video, you click on video right here. So here you select the region. So do you want it to be for the whole uh, window or you have a specific region that you can select? Now, let's say it's for the whole window. And for the sharing, you can do a, a screencast, a, a Nomia, a, a Camtasia, etc. You can share it in different um, tools like Slack, Google Drive, etc. Let's say we want to share it in our Google Drive. And here you can uh, active the record uh, webcam and the screen drown. Now what we want to do is we click on capture and just like that, it starts capturing. Uh, it is capturing right here. So you decide the, where you want to do it and it is initializing it. So it will start capturing uh, your face and your image. Now uh, let's delete this or let's click on stop the recording or uh, start recording. So yeah, it will start recording uh, your uh, screen. 
Now, if you want to stop recording the screen, you just click on pause and click on this blue icon and done. It is uh, here. So you can start recording it directly from here. Now, if you want to make an edit, you can, uh, before that, you click on finish sharing the screen. And here, uh, you'll have to sign in to add it to your Google account uh, to your Google Drive. Now, uh, you can add other videos. So you click on this one and you can edit the video for example here if you put it uh, right here we can start uh, adding other videos and you can create or add an uh, image from other templates now here we have this icon so you can save the video and you can save it from uh, the frame now as i said here you have the uh, library or the edit button so uh, let's click on the library and here we have one video so the video it is listed here and you can see the date you created it and the name you can add the name for the video and you can share it now what we're gonna do we click on applications and here you'll have many applications you can add so we can integrate it to your uh, uh, web developer and here you have the website and the tags now going back right here so this is the video if you want to add another video you click on add and just like that you have the list of your videos right here you click and add it to uh, the frame now if we want to create a uh, an image from a template let's click on create image from template so uh, here you have some templates so let's click on this one click on create and just like that you'll be able to uh, add images right here so we can add it and add the title so we can add a title like this is a template number one. We can add the subtitle uh, right here. And now here you can add some captions for each image. So it's gonna be, you can use it for a portfolio or a resume, etc. So uh, we also have this option right here. So we can change the font. So for example, like this or this the line, we can add the text uh, a color and an outline, the shadow etc it depends on the style that you want so for the team you have a starter team basic industrial or you can create a new one so let's click for example on industrial team it will uh, give you uh, some teams here for your style and if you want to use like arrows you can for example give this right here you click on this one and you add it to the screen so we also have a text so you can add text you can add a call out and you can alt the shape now here you have selections where you can uh, select uh, some parts that you want to keep. So for example, like this one. So uh, you're gonna be deleting the selected area. Now going back here, we can also uh, do it uh, with hand. So we can draw it right here and you can add uh, an image right here. So click on this plus icon, it will be added right here. So those were the most important features for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you next time.